Whip it up, chef. So, we're going to be doing this from scratch actually, and I'm going to pull up Scalar 2 just to get things moving. Um, if you don't know what Scalar 2 is, essentially, it's like a chord uh, scale AI type of system where it can give you melodies even faster. If you don't know your music theory, and you got a whole bunch of like presets to pick from, like genres, and even some artists that... Um, you can pick from so I'm thinking I'm gonna go with could just go with one of the R&D presets but I think I might go with you can turn on this uh, it's like it says A right here and it allows you to click the key on the keyboard and it'll play the chord for you this be a little more full on this chord so I'm gonna try another note. One thing we could do to add like a little more humanized feel to this is we can go up to, so if we click on this region, I have a video on this, but I'm just gonna show you really quickly, it's pretty simple. So uh, let's go to quantize, let's go to one thirty second note. We're gonna go down to this more arrow and then go Q flam and then drag that up just a little bit and it's gonna give a little strum to the notes. space to it so I think I'm gonna go to hybrid by air music technology um, it actually has some pretty cool presets in it and it was fairly cheap let's see so let's go soft pads Definitely gonna go with that pad, it's beautiful. So we're gonna cut out some highs. It's a little harsh. We want a little more subtle and cut out the lows just to keep our low end muddy free when we put in our bass. We can turn it down to about 12. Start doing our leveling right now. Actually a really beautiful melody. Um, let's see. So I'm gonna go to my banks. If my plugin loads, Analog Lab is crazy on my CPU. Not fun. Let's see. I think it's the loophole bank. It's the preset called Brown. I really like this preset. It's freaking like crazy how cool it is. I'm gonna add a little tremor later from Sound Toys. Give a little. It's a little too much, I think. Let's give it a little reverb. Turn down the decay, turn down the mix a bit. Cut some lows. Definitely 
grab a vocal from here. Um, Arcade has some really good vocals. I mean, they're kind of overused a bit, but you can really add that. Put it back sound together. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I love you right here. Let me try that one. So we're in G, G major. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just going to open up the MIDI here. And you don't want to overcomplicate over complicated. I, I love I, I, I like this note. I love I, I love you. Turn that I way down. We're gonna EQ the frick out of it. boy and we're gonna pitch it down a bit right there Oof. add some reverb Let's go with that. We're gonna add a little pan man to this. Or actually, I'm gonna do a free plugin just to show you that you can do this with free plugins as well. Um, we're gonna go pancake. Very good panning plugin. Would highly recommend it. Um, let's see, let's change the preset here. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, we're gonna go back to Analog Lab. And we're gonna grab a bass, like a kind of like a Moog style bass. Might not be the right bass for this, but we'll try. So I'm just gonna grab my chords, and I'm just gonna take the bass notes. I guess the bass notes are all kind of the same. Chef! Yeah. 